What is up, my viewers? Bang here, bringing you another Rule of Tanks gameplay commentary. Uh, quite appropriate that it's an American tank, being the 4th of July, you know, Independence Day. Not that it's really that much of a change of pace for me, considering how often I do actually upload American tank gameplay. Not really my fault. I suppose it kind of is, but I mean, it's just the tanks I played through first. I wanted the T-30, I wanted the big-ass gun, and I got it. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yes, so the M103 on Erlenberg. Right off the bat, you can see going city, kind of standard strategy for the heavies. Uh, field not seeing a lot of action, the enemy team doing the same thing with that IS, you know. Thinking a city push is probably a good idea, KV2. Not really seeing any of their heavy armor, so it's one of those things that uh, you start wondering where the rest of their team is, but it's also early on enough in the game to where you're like, yeah, they're still getting in the city. Still, a lot of low tier stuff. Up oh, there's that T30 going right for that fire port. I know he loves it, and so do I. The more you can hide your body and just expose your tur uh, turret on that T30, the better. So here I am going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the IS, you know, <laughs> yeah, maybe I should pick on someone my own size, but hey, kill's a kill, tank gone is a tank gone, Yag, uh, Panzer IV, and a 4502P, the bigger threat, the 4502 coming up to say hello, avenge his friend, the Yag Panzer IV blocking the 4502, not able to back up, taking a lot of damage because of it, he's really hurting because that Yag Panzer IV was not a good team player and blocking that's, I'm pretty sure you can actually get in trouble for that. Uh, you can get your account suspended. I might be mistaken about that, but, uh, you know, it's one of those things that you shouldn't do regardless. So we have the Hummel just took out that KV-2. I just took out that guy. You know, the old-fashioned way. Nice and up close. Taking out this 4502. He bounced this shell on me. We have a light tank rushing our base, but not too concerned about him at the moment. Right now, we are just absolutely decimating this enemy team. 5-2, to two. that T-30 is still over to the uh, right here, to east of me. Now, we have some stuff sitting on their base that really is a, somewhat of a concern, but at this point, we've taken out one of their heavy players. We still have our T-95 and myself, our biggest players. T-30 coming out from that fire port. Wanting to play in the town a bit, he can function as a tank effectively, but you just got to be a little cautious. Right here, I think he made a very costly mistake of basically getting himself in a position where he's going to get flanked by that T-34 and flanked by me and this T-95. He will kill that T-34, but at the cost of me getting a free shot on him, SU-152 right behind me. You know, not really a tank I concern myself with too much. I've played it. It's... It's not too great, um, but it will end up hurting me here in a minute just because I simply underestimate it. <laughs> I basically get a little cocky, say, oh, it's an SU-152. You know what? It's not that big of a deal. I'll take you on, sure, while I ignore this T-30. So, actually, I'm not sure. Was it just him that hits me? Yeah, he hits me off my track. He has a fast rate of fire gun. But because he blew off my track, the T-30 nails me from behind. The SU-52 hitting me again, but, uh, you know, not for too much. That T-30 at this point can kill me, so it's a very large point of concern. But at this point, he's more concerned about me shooting him uh, and that KV-2 rolling up on him. Definitely something he should be concerned about. The enemy team doing a good job in the fields and on the railroad tracks there, basically catching up here towards the end. Not sure exactly what our di team did to lose, but watch this right here. Oh my gosh, that <laughs> KV-2 hit that T-30 for over 900 damage. And the T-30 is going to be like, how in the world did you do that? Um, if I had to guess, he probably, yeah, 998 from the KV-2. Now, if I had to guess, he was using AP shells. Right here we have the replay glitching a little. This is a 7.3 replay, trying to play with 7.4. That's kind of what's happening there. But yeah, as you can see, they had a good successful push on the uh, <laughs> on the hill on the blah, railroad tracks and field, uh, basically evening the playing field a little. It's 11 to 10 at this point, but we still have both of our tier nines. Even if they were to kill me. It's very unlikely they'd be able to handle a Ferdinand and a T95. It's not 
and looking too great for them right now. T34 hurting that Ferdinand quite a bit. Uh, almost getting himself killed there. T34 just got himself taken out. This 3001P does not concern me in the slightest. I know what damage his gun can do, and it's not enough to kill me, even if he managed to get through my front armor, which isn't all that likely. This 3002DB, also not a large point of concern, and at this point, I want this kill. I want my top gun. And so I am playing a little reckless here, but it's of no concern. I don't know what he's doing, trying to hide or something. <laughs> but really, he just never stood a chance. So I did get myself Top Gun and Sniper. As you can see, this is a 7.3 play, as I said before. So I'm playing it on the 7.4 game. Not exactly compatible. Uh, almost compatible. But uh, that T30 earlier on, like I was mentioning before, if you're wondering what happened there, simply the KV-2 had AP shells loaded and was able to get a side shot on him where he could penetrate with those AP shells, which if I recall correctly, their average damage is 910. So, yeah, it's one of those things of uh, you should not underestimate the KV-2. Don't give him your weak points because if he has AP loaded, he will hurt you for 900 about <laughs> up so anyway uh yeah did rather well for myself my team almost losing it there but not really because we always had me and the t95 in the town so as long as we played smart and we went back to base as necessary which we did even though it wasn't completely necessary our team that ferdinand and that other uh, heavy tank back there able to handle themselves so Definitely a well-played game by my team. The enemy team did a decent comeback. Uh, <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, click that like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe. But uh, if you got a replay for me to commentate, send it to spangoreplays at gmail.com. Email will be in the description. And like you saw in this game, don't block people. That's my PSA for this match. Do not sit behind tanks and cause them to get shot unnecessarily. <laughs> anyway, this has been Spang, and I am signing off.